Hey everybody, it's Sherry Goche here. Listen, I understand we still have some questions about host code and product links, so let me do a quick tutorial for you about how to edit or change your product links for Norwex, okay? Bear with me while I share screen with you. If you see anything you shouldn't, don't look. All right, lots of questions on here. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go into my event. And of course, I always have a little test event open because it's always great to double check or run a mock party. So what I'm gonna do is just edit. For this example, I have filled out, you know, a little bit of information, the time zone. Don't forget the time zone. I've customized um, the event code here. Remember, if you copy the code here, that would get entered over on squee.com. All right, in this area here. Alrighty. And the copy full length provides that link for your attendees um, to enter and your host to enter the party. Okay. So we're going to enter our timeline. Now, if you're using the Norwex one, you can find that. I apologize. You'll see my fingers, my magic fingers up here entering this code that's listed at the top of your timeline planner. Now, there's 39. For this example, I'm going to import them all, but you can certainly customize this as you wish. Again, the purpose of this is to show you how to add a product into the timeline if you'd like, according to Facebook. Now listen, guys. The other thing I want to make very clear is there's no reason to touch the links that have been provided for you. I know that some of you are getting confused by a notice about a host code. And I'll show you what that looks like. See this little link does not use host code. We're, listen, guys, that is for all of the companies that are using Squee that actually have the host code as part of their um, URL for shopping. Now, ultimately, Norwex's should work that way too, where you simply grab the number at the end of your party link on your consultant office. However, there seems to be a little glitch, and so for now, we're saying just ignore this. Ignore everything about the host code. So this little warning doesn't apply to Norwex. So let me show you how you would add a new product, okay? Just to be clear, you do not have to edit any of the links at all. But let's say you wanted to add a window cloth to this post. You would say add new, okay? Now you need to go to your website and you need to open up the page you want and save the photo, or you can wait just a day or so more and get the full product code from us. All right, I get ahead of myself. Add my, again, if you see something you shouldn't be seeing on here, just ignore it. I'm gonna find my window cloth. I'm gonna load that. I'm gonna say window, cloth and I'm gonna say the price which I wish I knew off my there it is $19.99 again sorry for my fingers now here is the link the link is this one now in your example it's gonna be maybe sherry biz up here okay but I am not a consultant and I can't um, get a consultant link so it works no matter what you do you simply take out this whole little bit here and replace it with this CIB link. And what that does is it automatically updates your consultant name for that link. Now the reason this is really good and the reason that you shouldn't change it to, you know, Sherry Goche, you know, HTTPS, Sherry Goche, .norwex is, is so that if you wanna share, share your timeline with other consultants, say on your team, all they have to do is make sure that their profile is set up properly and then all the links within the party work, okay? I just wanna show you that one more time. Again, guys, if you've added a link, this is what it should look like, this CID. And then this is for the country, so for Canada, it's gonna be underscore, capital C, capital A, and then this might be um, your product link. Don't take out those end numbers. That's the um, address to the product on your website. Okay. So again, that's the consultant ID part. And uh, 
Ignore the host code, guys. It doesn't apply to us here at Norwex right now, okay? And I shouldn't say that because it's sort of a fib, because I will show you the one place that it does apply and that it works fantastic, and that is on this post. Bear with me. It's actually this one link right here for this party link. Now, I know we have it in here, party host here, um, and we've been able to do that because it's a link that, uh, it's a long story. Right now, that is the only link that actually has the host code in it. And we are working with our Norwex IT to update our website linking so that we can make an easy to use system within Squee. And that is coming. They are working on it. It is a priority. But for now, guys, please ignore all host code, okay? And certainly tag me. My name is Sherry Gauthier. I feel like I'm living in the Safe Haven group. Uh, we have beta team members as well as SMAC members who can help you with your questions. Again, don't forget the frequently asked question document. We've tried to put all the uh, main questions people have. That's going to be in your consultant office area. But if you are in the Safe Haven group, it will be under files. So thanks so much, guys. I hope that's been helpful. And uh, let us know how you're doing. I love to see the testimonials. Wink, wink. Don't be surprised if you see some of them in an upcoming Impressions newsletter. Take care, everybody. Thanks.